Very good morning all. Myself Bipasha Chakraborty, Assistant Professor and PIS of VC Department. Today I will discuss the mentoring process that I follow with my mentees. Uh, firstly, I would like to say that uh, it's my privilege uh, of uh, receiving this mentorship throughout my academic journey because I almost joined this institute 12 years back and that time I was also a student and I know very well that what is the role of a mentor on their mentees and how it reflects because still I am a student and I always try to maintain from my side for my mentees also. So today I will share the significance and thoughts of mentoring process that holds very good for mentor and mentees both. Okay. And my mentees are mostly from uh, fourth year that is the final year students and uh, but I am in touch with them from the second year onwards. So there is almost a friendly uh, relationship between us. And uh, I think that this final year is a very critical juncture for them as there is a transition from the classroom to the real world. And as a mentor, uh, I can explore their strengths, their weakness and uh, guide them on various career and academic related activities. And that I do very, very positively from my side. And uh, my mentees, uh, most of them are engaged with internship or job and uh, they have not got enough time for preparation of the semester but as a mentor i did the gmit before the semester examination to share the resource materials with them and uh, the suggestions so that uh, they can appear the examination very well and uh, parallelly uh, they face some issue regarding scholarship and that is also handled very positively and uh, I always try to find out the the root of the uh, means the problem first and uh, so that that can be detected very very clearly okay and uh, because at the end of the day their smiling face is the best gift to me that I think as a mentor as a teacher as a faculty and uh, beside that uh, uh, most of them as I said before that the most of them are engaged so their final year projects, some research related activities I also did with them because uh, two groups under my mentorship, uh, they did very good project and uh, for their project they required the knowledge of natural language processing and that I shared by weekly meeting with them mostly on Sunday. So these things are going on and uh, as a PIC, I am in touch with all the students from second year to fourth year and I know the names of each and every students of them and I know also their background so whenever they come to me uh, uh, with their problem it's very easier to me to detect and uh, to give a better solution I always try to give the better solutions okay and uh, I always be in touch with the parents and uh, uh, to do the counseling uh, with them uh, over phone or uh, physically and always let them know that what is actually going on in the department, what is the present status of their students, of their uh, means of their child, and uh, what kind of trainings are going on, what is the attendance status. Each and every things I always try to let them know uh, to, to, to their parents. And I always try to motivate uh, to do the MOOC sports so that they can get the BTEC with honors and be different from others. So there are various activities are going on and uh, in a short video it is not possible to share the uh, all the activities uh, but i always try to uh, be the source of motivation and inspiration with uh, to them and so that they can um, do uh, very well in their professional life and uh, in their uh, real life also and uh, so these are going on and uh, up to this uh, thank you so much